I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question based on geometric infinite series. We'll write 0.478 recurring as a rational number. So the number is 0 0.4. When we say 7, 8 repeating means like 7, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, kind of like this. Rational number, we want to write it in the form P over Q, right? You can say a fraction. That is the question for you. Now in this video, we will learn two methods to solve this. So let me use method number one first, which is simple and straightforward, which we learned in junior classes, where we could say that let x be equal to zero point, let me use this, like right, four, seven, eight, seven, eight, so on. Now, in this particular case, this number 7, 8 is repeating. So if I multiply this by 1000, what do I get? I get 1000 x equals 2. Decimal moves 3 places, right? So decimal moves 3 places means it moves 1, 2, and 3. Comes here. So the number becomes 478.78 recurring. Is it okay? Now, if I take away from 1000, now, now at this stage, we got this 7, 8 thing repeating. What I could also do is multiply this by 10. So, x times 10 means 10x will be what? If I do 10x, decimal moves one place, so I get 4.78 recurring. Is that clear? Perfect. Now, if I take their difference, that is to say, if I take away 10x from 1000x, then what do I get? Then I get 990x, right? We get 990x, which is, we have to take away 478.78 is the new one bigger number, small number 4.78. We get 474, right? Point, you see it's 0, 0, 7, 8, 7, 8, this recurring part, which repeats kinds of evens out. Now it is simple. We can write x as equals to 474 divided by 990. Perfect. Now this could be simplified. Correct. Now if you add 9, 9, this can be divided by 9. And the numerator here, we, we could also divide by 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 7. It cannot be. But let's now divide by, we could divide by 2 and 3. So let's simplify. Okay. So if I divide by, let's say, 6, because 7 plus 4, 11, 11 plus 4 is 15, so it could be divided by 3, this could be divided by 2. So let's divide them by 6. So 6 times 7 is 42, so we got 54, so we get 9. And here, 6 times 1 is 6. And then we got 39, so 6 times 6 is 36, and then we get 30, which is 5. So we could write this as equal to 79 over 165. So that is the rational number which represents the recurring or repeating decimal number. Is that clear? So we got one method right there. Now, we will do method 2. The second method involves geometric series. Let's see how it involves geometric series. One, let us remind you of the sum of geometric series. That is, if there are infinite numbers to be added in a geometric series, then the sum is equals to the first number divided by 1 minus r where the value of r 
is let's say absolute value of r is less than 1 correct it's kind of so that terminates right because we are looking for a terminating series perfect so that's the formula which we are going to use now we need to find what is a and what is r in this particular example to find the sum so we can say that the number here is uh, we are already given the number as 4.787878 kind of like this do you see that so uh, sorry 0. Point, sorry 0. 0.478 so that is the number given to us. So this 7, 8 part is repeating. Do you see that part? Okay. Now how do we write this number in a different form? We can say that the first number is just 0 0.4. And to this we add what? We add 78 over 1000 which is 10 to the power of 3. Correct? So three decimal places. Now, the other 78 could be written as 78 divided by 10 to the power of 5. And this 78 could be written as 78 divided by 10 to the power of 7. Is that clear? Now, this is the most critical part. Now, 0 0.5 is okay. And then, to move to this place, we need three decimals. 1, 2, and 3. So, that is how you get... 10 to the power of 3. Now to move to that place, 4 and 1, 5. Do you see that? Additional 2 and then 6 and 7. So that is how we could add these numbers which are repeating. Set of 78. Is that clear? So what we get here is that the decimal repeating number 0 0.4.78 could be written as 0 0.4 plus repeating portion of this right is it okay so what is repeating here we have the first term which is constant which is 78 over 1000 right 78 over 1000 that is constant and what repeats is 78 over 1000 is constant and is being multiplied by 1 over 100. So R is 1 over 100. Perfect. So what we find here is that A is equal to 78 over 1000. And R is equal to 1 over 100. So we can now apply our formula and get this series. So the sum of this series will be, so let's write we have to add 0 0.4 also, correct? So, 0 0.478 we are talking about is actually equals to 0 0.4 plus some of this infinite series. Where A is 78 over 100, so we'll write 78 over, I mean 1000 in the numerator divided by 1 minus R which is 1 over 100. You get an idea, right? So that is what we are looking for. So now we can use the calculator to find this answer. So basically you have 0 0.4 plus 78 divided by 1000 is 0 0.078 divided by 1 minus 0 0.01. Correct? So we can use calculator to find this answer. So let's use it. So I'll do the fraction part first. That is 0 0.078 divided by, within brackets, 1 minus 0 0.01, bracket close, equal to. And to this fraction, we'll add 0.4. So that gives you 79 over 165 is exactly same as we got before. Do you see that? 
Correct. So we could solve this particular question with geometric infinite series as shown here. So I hope that really helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.